and welcome to Froy Models Daily Blog. Here we are on Friday the 5th, is it? 5th of August 2016. And again. Okay, so, yesterday, to be honest, was a nightmare day. It's getting better though, because we've managed to fix all the problems that we actually had with the paintwork down here on the actual uh, 190, so we're okay, okay? Little thing, I warn everybody now, if you do the new one, you can know if it's the new formula versus the old one, because quite frankly, it's really smelly. Uh, if it smells, then don't over thin it. If you over thin it, it gets a critical mass, it just doesn't bind together and doesn't lay very nice, okay? So just be warned, keep it a little bit, um, you know, ratio wise, I don't know, probably a third thinners uh, if you want to go for that more sort of, you know, wet look uh, to get your pre-shading to show through. But I overcoated it, and to be honest, these bits here were done uh, with normal and it, it worked beautiful. To be honest, the Model Air stuff, especially the new one, it's got brilliant it's almost it's more than a satin finish okay so that means it's great because you can decal straight over it you can weather over it and everything else and it's as hard as nails but these came out really really nice so very very happy with those the mask set loads of people have said phil you got the mask set on the wrong way you're all correct and i've lost it now i had it out for testing and now i've put it down but you know we were doing the masking set for the uh, g uh, hw uh, mask set for it i use the inside ones on the outside Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is, um, obviously nobody will know, apart from a couple of thousand people, um, but I'm going to unmask this, I'm going to redo it, and I will do it on camera and I'll show it. Yes, a lot of you, there it is. Ah, okay, see it behind the camera. <clears throat> so anyway, it's like this. Unfortunately though, some muffet has stuck it upside down. So when you look at it, you think top and bottom, and the thing is, if you look really, really carefully at this, it's actually, uh, I can probably show you, there's a clue, but the thing is they are that fine, you can't really see it. Okay, so somebody really ought to go around. There's not one that says out, but there is one that says in. Okay, so because it's got in on it, that's the inside and I obviously was taking it from this one. So what we're going to do is we will peel that one off. Um, maybe today if we've got time, probably not. Uh, and we will redo it. Okay, so there we go. Yes, everybody, I can I can do a retraction as good as anybody else. I was completely wrong at that one. I didn't see the in down there. I thought being top of the sheet would be top of the sheet. It's not. Whoever stuck it to the card stuck it the wrong way up. Just shows we're all human. So I made a bigger cock up as they did. So yes, there's that one there. Uh, up with you on the site today is the actual Walrus. Uh, this was Steve's kit that he bought at Telford a couple of years ago. Beautiful, beautiful kit. If you want to see a resin, how a resin kit should be, let's face it, there's plenty of manufacturers, and let's face it, I've had a run-in with one of them in particular, um, and it was awful. Uh, but this just shows you that, I think it was 130 euros, Steve was saying, 120 euros. It's money well worth you know spending. And I must admit, after seeing it, I'm not saying I'm going to, but I'm probably going to have a look at their Catalina in a slightly different way, like a slightly credit card way, um, because I would love to do their 30 second Catalina. Having seen it with the inside and the outside, I might just do the external one because I think it would be really, really beautiful. The great thing with that is, is that it's not so much a dust magnet. You can get away with that one and I probably would hang it on the wall with the gear up or something else like that so it looks like a float plane or even hang it from the ceiling as sad as that sounds because I am a real fan of the Catalina. It's got beautiful lines and everything else and after seeing the quality and the engraving and the riveting detail on the walrus you know that the actual Catalina is going to be beautiful and to be honest for the last couple of years I've been going to Telford I've seen it there and it does look nice. I tend to look at their one and think I could do better um, and it's one of those models where it's not often I feel that. I see obviously people have done it before and I think oh they've done a great work and I get inspired by it but their mock-up they've got just doesn't do the kit justice. I think if you weathered it, if you got in there and gave it some you know just usual dry brushing, weathering effects, washes, bit of chipping, it would really come to life. But to do that particular bird in something really weird like the white scheme or something else like that would be an absolute gem to do. So I might have have a look at picking that up this year if I can get it at a good price and then obviously next year that may be our big project and that would be big it'd be the biggest kit I've ever done uh, so definitely something else like that big thanks to Steve yesterday for doing the review loads of feedback on it you all loved it the trouble is I know a lot of you have said about me and Steve doing reviews together you quite like that format um, and we did to be honest have a, another camera angle which this is the one I edited out I edited me off uh, with both of us sat there and you get the interaction the bits and pieces it would be lovely, but unfortunately Steve lives about a good 
four and a half hours with no traffic if you were to do it middle of the night but in traffic about seven hours away from me so uh, unfortunately he is literally the other end of the country almost um, and then I'm down here in the southwest so it, to, for us to get together it literally happens twice a year he comes down here obviously in the summer and then we go up to him or we do Telford as well so sometimes three times uh, and things like that so it's very rare we can actually get together and do these things but you loved it I'd love to Steve do some more to be honest he's got a big pucker camera now I might try and twist his arm and send him some equipment as well to be able to set himself up a little bit better. Speaking of equipment, computers. As you know, we have our new computer. And I'll be honest with you, it's a £2,000 system. And um, obviously Scan Computers built it for us. Uh, it's got all the bits and pieces. Obviously we had the, uh, the Rift with it, not the Rift, HTC Vibe. Um, and everything else. Uh, first couple of days we were pretty good. Couple of little tweaks with it, which, you know, little power outages and things, but I just thought it was down to a new PC. And as you know, for the last three days, it's given us nothing but trouble. And I have been on the phone to tech support probably for five hours in total. Um, and then again, because obviously last night it wouldn't start, I couldn't get it to start at all. So to be honest, that's why you got the concise version of this, the vlog, um, because I can't get near it. Now it's over there now, and to be honest, it's on and running. But as soon as I go and do anything or anything else, it's likely to shut itself down and then it can't restart. Now the trouble is, uh, yes, I've got the other computer, so that's why we've still been doing editing. It backs up everything up direct, so there's no problem. We don't lose any files anymore like we used to. But it's just that thing. This system is down here. So when we're doing the overhead cameras and everything, live streams and all those things, it uses that system. Okay. The other thing it does as well, when we go around and look at the forum and stuff, uh, the capture card in it captures obviously all the images on the forum and then it renders it all and that's what we use for the video file like that. Now, because it's not doing it, I can't do it today. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take you around the forum like I normally do on a Friday and we look at what flows up to and everything else. As Soon as it's fixed, I will get that sorted out and we will do it. So what I'll do is um, I will edit this and I'll put up your great builds that you've done at the end. But what this does mean is, is we've got a tech guy coming down tomorrow um, who's going to have a go at fixing it because they're now sending me out all the components again to see what it is. So I've got new memory coming out, I've got a new RAM coming, uh, sorry, we've got the new RAM coming out, I've got the new um, motherboard coming out, I've got a new uh, solid straight hard drive is coming out for it, and uh, we've got a new processor. So between all of that, we know the 1080 graphics card's fine, um, so with any luck, they'll be able to fix the problem. But say, I've got an engineer coming down tomorrow afternoon as well, and he's going to try and fix it. So hopefully, fingers crossed this should be the end of all our problems with it and we can get going with the streaming and the various bits and pieces. What this does mean though is the video that I recorded all about our equipment and what we're using, technically I don't want to air that. It is done, it is sat there on YouTube hidden at the moment, um, but I don't want to actually put it up in case this thing is a dog because the last thing I want to do is, you know, obviously have a video with me all smiling faces saying this is great because it was when I did it and then literally it seems as soon as I did that video I jinxed it and now it's being a complete pain. <clears throat> So obviously if it does work well and it's all fixed, then I'll do a slight update to that video uh, and explain the problems we've had, how it's fixed and all the other things. I know a lot of you got... And then the battery dies in the middle of your recording. See, I am definitely having one of those weeks. So yeah, so what I don't want to do is obviously do a video uh, all about it when it's not right. But hopefully next week we should be up and running and fine and actually get on with it. Because you know what it's like when you're on the phone to technical support and all the rest of it. They just go through a crib sheet that they're reading off and... You know, you're there. I know I've got a £2,000 paperweight here. Let's get it fixed. Let's do something proper to it instead of just doing the things we've done a hundred times before. Anyway, um, I have to say, uh, Scan Computers, as much as your computer doesn't work uh, and is driving me, and I've lost probably a good day's work because of it, your customer service is very good. You answer the phone extremely quickly. Uh, you're always very polite. Uh, you seem to know what you're on about, although that, you know, we'll find out if you really do, uh, and everything else. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still not working. So I don't really want to do a big review on it and all the rest of it until we actually get it sorted and working and everything else just like that. Um, what that does mean is obviously on Monday I was going to put that video up so you could see it and then Tuesday everything would carry on as normal uh, but I'm saying I'm not sure about Tuesday uh, because I'm away uh, so I don't know about doing the live show Tuesday night and we can't do it if this isn't working anyway because it means we've got to get the other computer in we've got to take all the cards out re-rig it rewire it and everything else for something that could be fixed pretty quickly and easily if this guy gets it right uh, so I don't want to mess around with it so the live shows next week may just drop back a few days if they looks like they can't fix it I'll just bring the other system in send it back they can do what they like with it and we'll just carry on as we did before 
So there we go. Right, so next week I'm not here Monday and Tuesday. Gonna have to explain that one sort of. Um, I'm going off to play with some very expensive equipment. I know it's not military. I know normally for a change I'm gonna do something civil. Um, I'm not sure because they won't let me know if I can film in there yet. Obviously I'm gonna take the camera, we'll look at it and I'll run around with the camera. But nobody seems to want to tell me if I can actually film, stream it and doing everything else with it. It's nothing secret. There's no big things, all the rest of it. It's nothing to do with modeling either. To be honest, it's to do with vehicles and cars, very expensive cars uh, and everything else like that. But nobody will tell me if I can actually film there. So um, I have asked and they've sort of come back and said, well, it shouldn't be a problem, but we need to check. Uh, we might need to see your footage before and they want me to sign various bits and pieces of paper and all the rest of it. But if I can, obviously I'm going to vlog it all, uh, just something on the side uh, to add what I'm up to for a couple of days in London. But it's a little bit of a project I've got up there, to be honest, I've got a meeting up there and it's all going to fold into one. So we've sort of arranged it around a, a big couple of days in London. So uh, Monday morning, I'm driving up first thing up to London, staying up there Tuesday night, coming back, for, um, sorry, coming, staying up there uh, Monday night, coming back late Tuesday. Okay, so I'll be back here, then Wednesday will carry on for normal. And as I say, and everything goes right then obviously Tuesday um, will just there'll be a video up there uh, which will be some part of the build here I'll get it edited and everything else and then what happened is Wednesday we do the Q&A so we'll just drop it around a couple of days and everything else like that anyway I've waffled quite enough for now I've done quite enough waffling of trying to sort everything out amazingly the computer's quite stable at the moment it's still sat there and it's working but you wait if I try to do this on there it would absolutely die on me all right anyway I am going to probably remask this and make sure it all fits. Apologies to obviously um, HDW, because it's me and them, they did it upside down. I just didn't look at it and all the rest of it. So we're gonna redo that one. Thank you for everybody who said to me, Phil, I think you've got the wrong way around. Um, yes, I am a Muppet and an idiot and I did forget it. So anyway, we'll get that sorted. Anyway, end of a busy week, end of a very tiring week, to be honest with everything else. So hopefully, as I say, a couple of days sorted out in London, we get that meeting out of the way and then we can come back and we can get on with some great modeling and do what we do best here at Flory Models. So until next week, everybody, happy modeling, take care, and I'm gonna leave you with some of your great work. Chances to wake the day